Nay. Yeah. Let's add a custom horse armor to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below. With over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right. And we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more and we're galloping towards... Well, adding a custom horse armor item to Minecraft. Listen, okay, the the absolutely crazy intros are back, okay? The intros will only get more unhinged as we go on. That is the way. That is the only way I keep saying, okay? Now, to add a custom horse armor item, you will be amazed how easy it actually is. However, there is, well, number one, there's changes from 120 and be like before to 121 and beyond. But let's just take a look. In the mod items class, we're going to add a public static final item. This is going to be the pink underscore garnet underscore horse underscore armor equal to the register item method, of course. It's going to be pink underscore garnet underscore horse underscore armor. Why the long face? I don't know. This is an equal to a new animal armor item. Passing in mod armor materials dot pink garnet armor material. The second is going to be a type equestrian. So this is the type of animal armor item. Very importantly, then we're not going to have a overlay. So false. And then here we're going to make new item settings with a max count of one because usually horse armor does not stack. We want to take this and go to the item group and add it, of course, to the creative mode tab here, item group, right? That's going to be fine. We can then also go to the data gen in our item in the model provider. It is actually, once again, one of those easy ones that is just a generated item. So item model generator dot register passing in mod items dot horse armor, the pink horse armor. And this is models dot generated. Very straightforward. Nothing too crazy. Similarly, the translation is also very easy. It's a completely normal translation. However, then we get to the textures. The first texture is the easy texture. That's going to be the horse armor PNG over here for the item, right? This is the item. So this is what you see inside of the inventory. Very straightforward. But how, once again, are you going to see it on the horse itself? That is going to be textures, a new directory called entity, another new directory called horse, Another new directory called armor. Once again, the American spelling, not R or that's not that's not American or UK spelling. Entity horse armor. And inside of there, we want the horse underscore armor underscore pink underscore garnet PNG. Also, of course, available to you for download. So both of the PNGs are available for download. All of the code also available in the description below in the GitHub repository. And this is actually all we need. This is all we need for a custom horse armor item. So I would say let's first of all, obviously run the data gen so that we actually have a an item texture that would be fatal if we didn't do that. But once that is run through, there we go. We got that written. And now let's gallop into the game and see if it works. Nay. And we're back in Minecraft once again. And let's just add the pink garnet horse armor and look at this. I mean, come on. Okay. That is freaking awesome. And yeah, now we can literally just get a saddle over here. Right, put that on and then just ride into the sunset. Let's go. Oh, that's custom horse armor added to Minecraft. Awesome. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add custom armor trims. Very interesting. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.